Okay, let's talk about the uh, process of sensation that becomes an experience. Uh, it's interesting as we look at this dynamic and this process, it goes from what we consider to be obvious and empirically self-evident and quantifiable to what is really quite a, a mystery and very ethereal when you begin to unpack it. So what is sensation? Well, when we exercise the one faculty of vision, the one of five of our sensory abilities, as depicted here in the uh, little diagram, we look at a woman, for instance, and the light reflecting off of her hits our cornea, which transfers that light to, transfers and kind of focuses the light to the pupil of our eye, past the iris, which is controlling how much is allowed in and hits our, the lens, gets flipped around, and then is transferred to the back of our eye, to the rods and cones of the retina, right? That's what we were always taught. And that's right. Mechanically and in the material world, that is what happens. All right, so where, where does it go from there? It, the, the light waves have gone from outside to the back of our eye, which is depicted here, the retina, by the red curved line. Well, from there, we say, well, it goes from the, the eye up along the optic nerve to the lateral geniculate nucleus, I guess you pronounce it, for where it terminates now. Uh, we're not talking about light waves now. We're talking about signal, which is electrochemically, if you will, traveling along these nerves, and uh, eventually terminating here in that purple area called the visual cortex. All right, well, what happens then? Well, in the visual cortex, we find that there are, as we dig deeper, all these nerve endings and Byzantine pathways where all of these signals travel. And somewhere, somehow, they produce what we experience as the woman that we were originally looking at. Okay, well, that's the point at which we want to try and figure out what is happening. We, we want to speculate. We tend to think of the brain in a more mechanical process, like as depicted here in this picture. You're looking at a key, and then things mechanically kind of take place, and I suppose, you know, in a sense they do, but how do you get that picture of the key? Well, we tend to think of it sort of like this projector thing. It's projected somewhere on the cortex of the visual area of your brain, and, you know, but we know there is no projector in there, and there's no person running the projector, and even if there were, Who's seen the key that's being projected? What eyes are looking at it? There's no eyes looking at that key now. The eye brought that information in to the body, to the brain, from the outside world. But how is this experience taking place? We're almost back to Descartes here, talking about what is consciousness? What are these thoughts that we cannot deny we're having? very difficult to explain 
But that is the mystery that we all are faced with every single second of our lives. All experience involves this process that winds up at a place that's inexplicable. <laughs>